So I made some progress. Hello, I'm Ramon, and welcome back to All Skill RC. All right, here's the Smithmaster RCMK SCR Pro, the body, <laughs> and here's the chassis. I went ahead and put the battery connectors on, and I put the receiver in, uh, and I installed the receiver, programmed the receiver. I forgot to calibrate the ESC, so I'll do that later. I am right now, I am trying to address the gap between the frame and the body. So I have some black, have some foam, which came with a 3D printer that I haven't used yet, but um, this foam came in there and I'm using it to uh, put between the body and the bumpers to fill the gap to give the body a, a fighting chance. So just working on that real quick. Let me get my double-sided tape. Here's my mega <laughs> double-sided tape. Bought this from Amazon, this thing's huge but comes in handy. I was thinking about doing the shoe on the carpet tape, still not too late for that, but let's see how this holds up. It's wedged in there pretty good, I just don't want it to slide around or work its way out. And if it does, I have more. <laughs> okay, for the front end, this one's perfect, it's actually tapered, so. Oh, that fits, that fits in there pretty good. And I actually tried, I actually tried, I was able to slide these pieces in and they were pretty snug with the while the body was on the chassis. So they are gonna fill that space pretty damn good. All right, so here's my makeshift bumper. <laughs> okay, so there you go. See, I, I put foam in the back and in the front and this will actually fit a little snug but it will fit oh that fits nice that's almost like it was made for it <laughs> that is so much better Now it's not 100%, but it's definitely an improvement. <laughs> I got lucky with those foam pieces. <laughs> I save stupid stuff like that all the time. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Now I was gonna weigh this with my corner weight, with my corner weight system, but unfortunately, unfortunately I think these are made for a 10 scale and this thing's way too heavy, so it aired out. So I know somebody in the comments, I told them I would weigh it, but my apologies, I can't. <laughs> so like I said, receiver's in here. Um, this antenna came with the receiver. There is a little bag that comes inside here, inside your receiver box that has a little grub screw in it. That grub screw goes into a little hole right next to your antenna hole, and it's used to snug up your antenna so it doesn't pop out. So don't lose that little grub screw. Uh, and basically I strap my batteries down my I strap my battery wires down inside the straps uh, to keep them away from the giant spur gear yo you definitely want to do that so I am running two two um, 4s spectrum batteries so we're just gonna run this on 8s I am running the 200 amp ESC which is only rated up to 8s so so this is only an 8s car at the moment I actually want to see how the tires look on 8S to see how much ballooning they're doing before I go trying to even run 12S because if if it's ballooning too much on 8S, it's going to be pointless to go to 12S because the tires aren't going to be able to handle it. So, figured go 8S first. Then afterwards, if these tires can handle it, I'll go 12S. I mounted my start switch right here. I don't know if you can see that. I mounted it right there so that way, being that the car has no windows, I could reach right in with my hand and start the car. So I put it in a place where I can get my fingers in. I'm telling you, this is snug now. Like this body isn't moving. <laughs> I just put a couple of the clips in because I don't want the body shifting around on me while it's under power. Powering my radio. 
Tell me, if you guys don't own yoga blocks, <laughs> I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> I use these yoga blocks so much, <laughs> I need to invest in the company. Okay, this is on 8S. I left the steering alone, I didn't turn it up. I haven't turned it up, I could probably turn it up to 7.4, but I, I left it alone for now. But here's, um, here it is on the power. <laughs> about the right amount. I'm scared to run it on 12S. Well, I'm scared to upgrade to 12S. I'm not sure if these tires are or can handle 12S. <laughs> Okay, so the plan is to take this out on the beach tomorrow, run around, see how it handles, try to get a nice speed run on it. Hopefully I'll be able to get the video edited and posted early in the week. Um, aside from that, I, uh, <laughs> aside from that, I really wanted to get to that Grave Digger brushless conversion today, but that did not happen. Um, so hopefully tomorrow at some point I'll start working on that. And my XX10 keeps on taking a back seat. But, I have a lot of things coming up, so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so, so you don't miss anything. Have a good night. Bye.